Here at the Courthouse Square in LaGrange, Kentucky, I'm with Karen Eldridge, who's the director of the Main Street Program. And first of all, thank you for having us to your city. Well, thank you for joining me. It's our pleasure. Tell us a little bit about what the Main Street Program is. Well, it's a national program, and we're the, just the local arm of that, and it is built around historic preservation and economic development. So we do events to bring people downtown. We try to help the small businesses any way we can. So it's really just about making LaGrange a community. It's a beautiful city, and when we're talking about businesses, how many businesses are there here on Main Street? On Main Street, we have 20. Uh -huh. And then we have our uh, police station is also here on but we have restaurants, we have attorneys, since we're right here at the courthouse lawn, the county seat. So we have art galleries, we have local artists are represented there, actually regional, and we have clothing. So we really have everything for the tourists, but also for our locals. They can come and actually buy things that they need here, between gift items, wonderful candies, it's a good place. And I happen to hear a bell in the background. You have something <laughs> also very unique to this city. Yes, we have the train. <laughs> um, we average 20 a day, and it's a main line between Louisville and Cincinnati. And it runs right down Main Street. Right down Main Street. We were, well, we're labeling ourselves the only town now that has street running is what it's called. When the trains actually share the street with the cars, when the trains come through, really cars don't have any room. <laughs> um, but there was a town in Oakland, California, that had the same operation but I hear they're out of business, so I'm gonna have to check into that. So we're claiming that we're the only now. You know, just walking up and down the street, very diverse uh, restaurants here, so you can get pretty much any kind of food you want. Oh, we do. We have New Southern with 119. We have the Mayan with our Latin cuisine. We have the red pepper. They do wonderful sandwiches and soups. And then we have the Main Street Bourbon Ale House, and they have a large variety of bourbons and whiskeys if you want to try that. It's great food. And we have serendipity. They're tea sandwiches and um, wonderful chocolates. Mm. Yes, you'll have to try that. I think this interview's over. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs>
So people can come in here and have a cup of coffee and then listen now the, to you. Yeah, and the jam is all um, just whoever wants to come, yeah. who wants to play. A little free for all, huh? Yeah, I started it because, you know, playing music, not everybody gets to play in a band. And some people just play their guitar in their living room. Yeah. And so it gives them an opportunity to get out and meet other people and play with other people. So there's, and there's been, you know, young people, you know, people who barely know how to play and then people who really can play well. And so it's been an interesting dynamic. At this point in life, you're just having fun, you're enjoying coffee, and um, I think I joke and say, bluegrass and coffee, it brings people together. Amen. <laughs> Renee, you have a wonderful looking place here. Thank you, sir. You've been open now for what, a year and a half? Yes, around a year and seven months. A year, year and seven months, yes, huh? Sir. Did you do the, the decor? Was that all your idea? Yes, it was my, my, my idea with uh, my brothers, Gustavo and some cousins, yes. Yeah. But I picked the colors. So I really like the purple color, all the stuff. Well, it looks wonderful. Now, I know uh, here in LaGrange, uh, you have a restaurant. It's You're now the chef. You didn't always uh, start out as a chef, did you? I know you worked as a server for a little while. Yes, I've always been working as a server, but uh, I always cooked at home. Yeah. So I started when I was 16 years old. Wow. Yes, I was always helping my mom and see the way she cooked. And then when I come over, I start missing my mom. <laughs> then I said, well, I had to learn how to cook. Nothing like mom's home cooking, no, is No, of course. It? That's right. What is your favorite, what is your specialty here at the restaurant? Uh, we have uh, different uh, dishes. Uh, one of them is uh, cochinita pibil, that is uh, Mayan origin. Yeah. And then we have a salmon Mayan as well, that I, the shrimp is cooked with a furniture bottle sauce. Ooh. It's very good, yes.